What's up everyone, Aaron Schatz here, Editor-in-Chief of ASC Publishing and ASC Labs, and today we'll be looking at the Kingston Mobile Light G4. This is review ID 48410. You can check out this and all our other reviews by going to www.ascelabs.com. Here it is, let's get started. comes in this packaging. So let's see what's in this packaging other than the G4 itself. You get some literature. which basically says to use this product you plug it into the USB port and you're good to go that's how you use this product let's go over the differences between the G4 and the actual previous generation the G3 so as you can see the G3 is this thing the G4 is this the G3 and the G4 both support USB 3 the G3 has this weird way of like pushing in and you know clicking out the good thing is that it's kind of protecting the USB port where this this one doesn't but in reality it doesn't really matter because this is really hard metal so it's not going to really bend that much or at all and there's no dust cover anyway so if dust is going to get in here it's going to get in here anyway so whatever I actually think this is a much nicer and sleeker design than this with all these movable things that really didn't make sense at the time, they don't make sense now. But you have this now, this is the G4. Long story short though, it's a card reader. It supports micro SDXC and regular SDXC cards. Like this class 10 128 gig Kingston card. And it really, it's, it's a card reader, so it's just as simple as saying, okay, plug this into the USB port, plug this in, good to go, it starts reading it fine. Remember, it supports SDXC cards, so that includes backwards compatibility all the way back to regular SD cards as well. So this card reader is ultra high speed 2, which means that whatever card you put in here, it's, the card is going to limit the actual throughput, not the, not the reader itself. USB 3, theoretically, is going to go at 5 gigabits a second. There's no way that a card is going to even get near that right now. So... Just know, whatever bottleneck you get, it's from the card itself, not the reader. The reader performs extremely well with the cards I've thrown at it. You're not going to get any kind of slowdowns due to this reader. It's the card. That being said, there are some flaws in the design of this. And it actually happens with, with all these kind of things, with these giant, bulky designs. Now, sure, if you use this on like something like a MacBook Air that has nice USB ports with nothing else near them, it fits in fine, nothing blocking it. But if you use this in a regular computer, you actually are going to run into things blocking it. For instance, uh, if you have a USB port, hold on a second, I'll show you. Like magic, a Synology NAS just appeared here. But for demonstration purposes, so let's just say this is the back of your computer, or the front of your computer even, and you have this USB port here. Now pretend there's cables sticking out all over the place, in the front or the back or whatever, there, you have multiple devices. This thing fits in here fine right now, but look at how much space around it it takes. That's a huge problem, because on my home computer, I had to actually remove a lot of cables just to get this to actually plug in. It would be really nice if there was a little bit of an extension cable given to this. Now, obviously, that adds to the cost, so I understand why. And, honestly, most of the people are going to use this at a laptop, so it doesn't really matter, because most laptops are flush, and they're not going to have a problem plugging this in. So to each their own, but just know that if you're using this on a desktop, you might have problems with the space taken up around the USB port. But, that being said, remember, you can get other card readers and other sizes that actually have built-in cables for it, or little extension cables, so it doesn't really matter. Additionally, this only supports SD cards, and honestly, I don't think I've ever used anything besides SD cards in this day and age. Now, yeah, in the past, I remember using Compact Flash and, you know, all the other various cards, but nowadays, and even these cards are probably going to be discontinued eventually too because the the micro SD standard is big like in terms of size the actual like um, uh, capacity you can get 128 gig cards you probably get more at this day and age now so this size of a card is probably not even needed anymore and everything's going to move to micro SD so this type of reader is probably going to be on its last legs in a few years anyway but still this is future proof because it supports micro SD as well directly you just it, it, you know no adapter needed just stick in the micro SD card and it reads it fine just like the standard SD cards this 
retails for like around ten dollars right now and really if your laptop doesn't come with a USB 3 speed of a reader for SD or micro SD you're either going to now nah, don't get me wrong most laptops now come with an SD card reader <clears throat> what they don't come with is with a micro SD card reader so what you're either going to do is you're going to buy a uh, hold on I'll show you so like I said you're either going to buy a micro SD to regular SD adapter the card just sticks right in here and it plugs into a regular SD slot you can actually buy a whole kit that includes memory with it so this is a 32 gig kit it comes with the the SD adapter and a USB card reader for micro SD only but whereas this is slow this will not limit your transfer speeds so if you're doing real like high-end photography and you have very very fast you at uh, SD cards, this can be your best bet. USB transfer speeds, this will not limit you, it will be the card that limits you. So if you're saying to yourself, why am I only getting 50 megs a second on reads? It's not this, it's the card. Get one of those new UHS class 1 or 2 cards and you will see the speed difference that it actually creates. And this supports UHS too. Now for $10, the market may be a little bit limited that this is actually targeting because remember, the majority of laptops already have SD card readers in them. They might not have micro SD card readers, which is where this fits in. And remember, most laptops nowadays have USB 3, so this is going to be a really, really good addition if you have micro SD cards, you have really, really fast SD cards, this won't be a bottleneck. So if you're like a high-end photographer and you already don't have a laptop that, that has something like this, this is great to actually get and take along with you. If you have a desktop, there's other card readers that you can get that are probably much, much better in terms of the size because you're not going to stick this in your computer and, and fumble for it all the time. You want a card reader that probably stays either on top of your computer or on your desk. So there's other things to actually look at. In fact, Kingston makes some of them too. ASC Labs and ASC Publishing would like to thank Kingston for supplying this for review. You can check out links on ASC Labs to purchase this product from various merchants. For ASC Labs and ASC Publishing, I'm Aaron Schatz, and thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which I'm pretty sure you're watching right now, because otherwise I don't know how you're actually watching this video. Um, the, subs the subscribe button's like, it's here or here, I don't really remember, I'll, I'll, I'll get it eventually, but hit that subscribe button, post, a f post some comments, post feedback, send me an email if you could find my email address, it's pretty easy to figure out. But... That's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.